This is the 8.30 edition of the latest from Starcom Network News. I'm Carol Toppin. Your details are just ahead. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, protests broke out in the capital, Kingstown, where citizens marched through the city to voice their displeasure at government's proposed changes to the Public Health Act that would make the COVID-19 vaccine mandatory. Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez was left bloody after he was struck in the head while trying to make his way back to the Parliament building. More in this report from Bria King. Members of trade union, the public service union, and the Stimbrins and Sanigrenity Teachers Union are launching a protest today against the Searchlight newspaper and Prime Minister Gonzalez is reportedly being flown to Barbados for an MRI head scan. The Democratic Labour Party spokesman on Labour Matters, Corey Cox, is encouraging Barbados. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders. And the bishops of Great Millstone, and shall I want to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious to the will of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Mukar Padash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, to you all. Yeah, I'm the brother disciple for Shah Banyamin for the branch of Great Millstone, Barbados. And that was news from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which ain't they got family over there, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, boy. The scripture says it's in Second Ezra 15. They shall be sedition among men and invade one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So we are actually living and seeing these prophecies from the past. The scripture says, at the end it shall speak and not lie. Do it, carry wait for it. It shall surely come. So that's Saint Vincent. Now the Prime Minister Barbados, the Attorney General, is seeking to do the same thing. They, they have they prepared or have prepared. These are the words of the Prime Minister. Uh, uh, legal. Uh, forget the exact term she used, man. Right? To bring criminal charges against anyone who doesn't get a mandatory job or a PCR test. So it's only a matter of time before that happens, but yeah. You understand? Anyhow, my Lord really I can, I can come back. You know what I mean? I do a, a continue with this here, with this, with this, this uh, lesson here because it's scripture says in Ecclesiastes 12. Remember now, they created in the days of the youth. Well, the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. Make thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You see? So, Lord really I can come back. Shalom. Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Was he here? Oh no, oh no, oh my god, oh my god, oh lord. Somebody just bust the prime minister's head with a stone. Somebody just hit the prime minister. We're waiting for. Oh fuck. Somebody just bears a stone at the prime minister. Hold him. Shoot! 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 Shoot!
Prime Minister is bleeding. Somebody just bust the Prime Minister's head with a stone. Somebody just hit the Prime Minister in his head with a stone. I don't know if you Yeah, so we're here to continue to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bukar Kodash. With this video, with this lesson, um, I put a couple clips together. <clears throat> the first, you heard the news with um, Saint Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister, Ralph Gonzalez, he was protesting and uh, he was hit by a projectile. <clears throat> and he's currently in Barbados seeking medical attention because he came over in the evening edition that there was a shortage of um, supplies. He said, Vincent, medical supplies, right? So that way he's here now been attending to right second it was nine so this is biblical prophecy you know in Guyana now in Guyana um, it better do that video separate anyhow in Guyana now they end up accepting drivers who are not vaccinated <coughs> right dealing with I think it's the port they got back over the video but yeah, boy, um, the whole earth is in turmoil, you see? And this is biblical prophecy. This is one of the signs of our Lord's return. <clears throat> Second Ezra, you know, let me get nine first, right? Let me get Second Ezra nine first. This is the one. He answered me then and said, Measure out the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, <clears throat> tomorrow, the seventh of August, the Barbadian public, or I should say, there's a protest, there's a uh, uh, protest that's going to take place tomorrow, the 7th of August, right? Rejecting the inoculation. And I can't remember who it is that told me this, but there are going to be some people in that crowd that, um, will be unruly, so to speak. You got agent provocateurs, you know what I mean? <clears throat> like how you had the Black Lives Matter movement, <clears throat> the protests um, somewhere in the States, and these two so-called black women caught a, pro a protester spraying graffiti on a building when it wasn't about that. And they confronted her, and you know, she was all speechless, speechless, she didn't know what to do. So, you know, it's just a matter to see how we can go out tomorrow, but we deal with St. Vincent right now, right? So, we got a verse, we got a chapter 15 now, on verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands <clears throat> for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions 
shall stand in their power. So they're not, they're not going to regard their kings anymore. Their princes, many people that are reputable in society, aka Ralph Gonzales. You know what I mean? French prime, the French uh, prime minister, the French prime minister, uh, he, he, um, he sent out a, me a, a memo as of, as of August the first. Um, no unvaccinated. Let me see if we can find out there now. As of August the first, see if we can share it here too. Uh, is it my other phone here? So you got bear with me. Um, is the French Prime Minister? Yeah, look at here. Let me see if I can share this here. Uh, Alright, this beer me here. Let me um, switch this here. Okay, look at here. The French president announces that from August 1, 2021, People won't be allowed to purchase food at supermarkets unless they are inoculated. You gotta be careful how you use certain words, right? So this is the French president, right? Now let me share with you here. Um, then we can get back to the scriptures. That's the most important thing. Um, That's how the people responded. So now let me see, let me explain what you just saw there. What you just saw there was the people responding to the French president by using manure, right? By using manure. Um, just hold a minute. Just to prove to you, right? Um, I thought I had it here. So I can... Yeah, so I can probably deleted it, but it was the French president. You just saw the video there. And um, the people responded by using manure, right? They're using manure. So back now to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, right? Back to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, oh, I'm sorry. Is it here? Just trying to get the camera to focus. You ain't focusing, wait, right? just read it. The French people sent a sewer truck to the president, to the president home. When he made the above statement, that was their answer. See? Yeah, so 
about the same Vincent and the Grenadines, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> um, this is the result now of um, Prime Minister Rav Gonzalez, right? After the attack on him, so they should. For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition means uproars, riots, right? And invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Ralph Gonzalez, he's in that bracket. <clears throat> and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So you're going to understand and know, <clears throat> right? When you see these things come to pass, man. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So it's going to be home invasions, it's going to be martial law. You know what I mean? It, there's going to be a lot of things happening as these days progress. Because we're in the time of the end of Esau's age and the return of our Lord. You see? Um, I think it should end there. I'm sorry. I got another video here. And then we can shot shot. This is Vincent again. Just saying to me. Yeah, man. Yep, so <clears throat> they were happening, boy. People getting fed up, people getting angry. You know what I mean? The livelihood is changing, you know what I mean? So people are upset. Upset. So that's all I can do for now. You know what I mean? To the spirit, the point has been made. These are the times we're in, you know what I mean? The Lord said, look for these things. Let me get me in with one last precept. And this is in the book of um, Habakkuk chapter 2. And 1, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so he's speaking all now man you see he's speaking all now right all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh